In this video, I want to take a look at how to enter some data in Microsoft Excel. And here I've got a table of data that I want to go ahead and enter in. So this table contains the sales data for a West and East locations across four different quarters. So what I want to do is, is enter all of these values into this Excel spreadsheet here. And then we'll perform some calculations on them, make a chart, and so on. So let's go ahead and get started. And the way we enter the data is we just go ahead and select the first cell, type in location and press the enter key when I'm done, then west followed by the enter key and then east, and then here Q1, I'll go to the right this time is a different way to enter data. So after you enter Q1 you can press the right arrow on your keyboard and that will move you to the right. So I'm going to do that each time here, Q3 through Q4. Okay, that looks good. And then 23,245, and I'll press enter, which will make me go down. And I have 18,745, enter. And then I'm going to just go ahead and finish these up here. Now you probably noticed here that there were different ways I could enter data. I could enter a value, which I'll just do here for a moment to show you. Press the right arrow key, and that moves me to the right. Or I could enter a value and press the enter key and that moves me down. So you can do this different ways. And then finally you can also enter by pressing the tab key and that also moves you to the right. So if you want to go to the right, you're better off probably pressing the tab key after you enter. And if you want to go down, then you probably want to press the enter key. But whichever way you do it is totally fine. It's really just your preference. You just want to make sure you get the values in the cells, of course. So we won't worry about formatting these values yet. We don't need to make them look exactly like this table at this point. But what I do want to do is go ahead and perform a few different calculations on the spreadsheet. So now that we're done with these values, let's go ahead and close that out. Now notice something here. What Excel perceives as words or text, it formats left aligned. Notice how all of these cells are formatted on the left of the cell. And then what do you see with the numbers here? They're formatted right aligned, right? So this is helpful because Excel is telling us, hey, I see these as numbers. And basically, I see these as text. Now there's also formats for dates, but we're not going to get into that in our introductory series here. Okay, now that we have the values entered into our cells, let's go ahead and perform a few basic uh, modifications to the spreadsheet. So I want to select all the data, and the way I do that is I Click on cell A1, hold the mouse button down, and drag all the way across. And then go ahead and dial up the font here to 14. Now notice that this is compressed here. This location is being cut off. And don't worry about that. We'll take care of that in just a few moments. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. There's a nice feature here. If I hover over these cells here, notice when I hover over the A, there's a downward pointing arrow. Same thing for B. But as I move in between A and B, notice how there's a double pointing arrow that points to the left and right. I can go ahead and double click right now the mouse. And notice how that expands column A just enough distance to fit the largest item in there without being cut off. Okay, so that's kind of a nice feature. If you want to quickly adjust a cell, you can just double click on it and then the information will never be cut off. But I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit wider. I want to show you another method we can do. So Let's go in between column A and B again, get that double arrow, press and hold the mouse button, and let's drag this until the width shows a 14. Okay, right there? And then let's go ahead and make these quarter locations each 12. So I'm going to do the first one manually, 12 there, and then I'm going to show you a way to speed this up. If I select all of these columns, and the way I do that once again is select the first column, press and hold the control key and then you can select all three there and then expand the column C width to 12 and then watch what happens here. Notice how they all expanded the same amount. So that's a really nice way to quickly expand all of the columns in a consistent way. Okay next let's go ahead and select these quarter headings and center them. So we select them all and then go ahead and press the center align button there. And let's go ahead and make all of these headings, Q1 through Q4, in bold, along with the location west and east. So notice how Q1 through Q4 is already selected. If I press and hold the control key, I can select these values as well. And I'll just go ahead and press bold. 
Okay, so those are all bolded now. That looks good. And then next I want to format these cells. Notice how there's no commas or dollar signs or any formats at all applied in these cells. So I'm going to go ahead and format these. And I could use this dollar sign up here, but I don't really want to do that. I want to do this a different way. Let's go ahead and click on this dialog expander here. And notice here the format cells window. This is a really useful window in Microsoft Excel. You can really do a lot with this window here. It's very useful. And what I'm going to do here under format cells, notice the number tab is open by default. And that's what I want. I'm going to go to currency here. So I'll select currency. And notice here what happens is Excel displays an example for us, which can be quite useful. So we can see that values are going to be displayed in this format, where we have a dollar sign that's attached to the number. Some formats have the dollar sign away from the number. So this one's attached. There's a comma. And then notice how there's two decimal places afterwards, so basically cents. I don't want that. So I'm going to remove the two decimal places. And the way I can do that is go to this decimal places box, dial this down to zero. Okay, that looks good. And then negative numbers could be presented in one of these four formats. The default is the one that's selected. If I wanted to change this, I could. But we don't have any negative numbers, so I don't really care which way that's formatted right now. So let's go ahead and click OK. All right, so now notice how those have all had that format applied to them. So that looks good. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. So what we'll do in our next video, we're going to really start to use some of the nice features in Excel. We'll create a total column, which will sum up the sales over the four quarters. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.